everyone, thanks for joining in. This is going to be another quick video demonstration about a topic that I covered in another video already, which is the soap paintings. When I did those, I did get a couple of requests all the time, or every time, um, if there are alternatives. So if this technique can be used in a different way when you do not want to use soap, or if you do not have an airbrush, or spray can um, acrylic spray paint, you know? So this is going to be another version. I'm not yet sure if it works out, but we are going to play with the thick cord again. And I will see if I can find a solution for the not having an airbrush issue. First out, we are going to paint the background and I just grabbed a couple of random, yeah, Arteza acrylics. This is the gold, this is Prussian blue, a red, yellow and a cobalt blue just going to make a background. This is going to be a bit darker this time because I plan to add white on top of it. So having it flipped on the color scheme actually. So I basically just paint this randomly in here. And if we add white on top of it, you of course want to have more like darker colors to have the contrast. If you plan to add black or darker color over it, you of course want to have the colors yeah, lighter in the background so that they pop when you wash it off. So the gold and the yellow are metallics just to have some kind of shimmer. The blues are regular blues. The red is a regular red. And we are just going to spread all these colors as a background. And by the way, it is totally up to you how you layer the paints. So if you want them to intermix, to interbleed, if you want to make an acrylic pouring as a background and let it dry first. Um, if you want to use a canvas that you failed on, so which did not turn out as pretty as you wanted. Um, totally up to you. Even if you want to have some kind of design in your background painting. Um, just don't go too crazy because as it's covered um, pretty much with another color, you won't see too much of a design. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But other than that, you can really go crazy and create whatever shape, color range, whatever you wish for. You don't even have to use a brush. So you can use your finger instead and push the color around or just go crazy, be creative and do whatever you feel like. So this one has dried. It's really shiny, especially the side where the metallics were. So love this. And this would be the moment where I add the soap, add the um, airbrush paint, and then wait until everything is dry and rinse it off with water to reveal the first layer again. So as we are going to make another approach today, trying to use the cord that I got. So this one here. I'm going to wrap this around randomly and then I'm going to make the mixture which I do not know yet if it works out um, at all for the spray paint to paint over it. So I speed this forward because it might be too boring to just watch me wrap it around. <laughs> I must say this went pretty easy and better than I expected. Um, it would actually work like an art installation already. So what do you think? Just leave it as is and call it done? <laughs> I actually really kind of like it. Honestly. <laughs> so but, but anyways, um, we are going to continue making this project. But I've never done this before. I've never tried this before. And this is something I recommend you doing when you go wild on a new project as well. So I'm going to get myself a smaller canvas that I put on that I didn't like, that I put aside for a repour, wrap some of the yarn around it as well, and try this one first, because I would kind of hate ruining this one. I, 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 you know, so let's see how it works. Ta-da, here it is. Um, let's put this aside and wrap some yarn around here as well. 
going to use this color stuff which I've used for the string pull already. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Just some yeah, some yarn around it so that we can see if it works after all. Okay, that was great fun. Actually, the reason why I'm doing this is the fact that this um, yarn cord is pretty thick. So you might not be able to see it in the camera, but it isn't really um, tight onto the surface. So there is some air in between. And my deepest fear <laughs> in this project is actually that when I spray over it, it can get underneath. So this is something I really expect to happen. And this is also the reason why I do not really think this is going to work as great um, as when you use the soap, because this is sitting um, tight onto the surface. Something that one might be able to try as well, using some kind of flatter, flatter thing, like, I don't know the English word, the things you put into your shoes to make them, you know, so these, we call them Schnürsenkel. Perhaps I can find the translation and blend it in here. Perhaps this is something worth trying as well, if the general idea kind of works. So what we're going to need is some paint mixture, of course. Normally I would recommend using some airbrush paint because they are pretty thin and super pigmented. Um, as you might not have this lying around um, randomly, we go for regular acrylic paint. It's a titanium white, just the Artina acrylics that I usually use for my pourings when I don't use the Arteza. Um, and we're going to use this one here. This is a regular spray bottle thingy. Um, this is for hygiene disinfection spray. It's empty. So I'm going to make a mixture with the acrylic paint, fill it in there and let's see if it works. I think it won't because I cannot make it uh, too thick. Otherwise it will not spray here. Um, if I make it too thin, it will probably soak into the yarn and stain the canvas anyways, or it runs underneath. So this is something I really expect to have many, many layers until I get the coverage, if I get any. We will see. Okay, no idea. This still might be too thick. It kind of is a little bit thinner than, or probably it is my pouring consistency. I don't know. Um, yeah, pretty thin. But probably not thin enough to make it work um, with the spray thingy. Okay, it kind of works. Let's see. I think we should let this dry first, um, make another layer and then see what happens. So here we go. I did add a couple more layers of camera and this is how it looks just now. So for this part, pretty nice, I'd say. Um, I can see when I look from the angle that yeah, some of the, the white did actually spray underneath, so it is not really a sharp line for those um, cords that are sitting a bit higher. Um, but we will see. Let's um, unwrap it and have a look. That's the result. Must say, not bad though. So the lines here are not as, um, yeah, as colorful and as straight and as uncovered as I hoped for, but it is shiny. Probably if you use the, well, Schnürsenkel, <laughs> it works better. Um, so the closer the yarn was onto the artwork, it's the better it went. So this line here is the best, I'd say. 
but let's see what we can do with the other one so the initial test actually and I'm going to use my airbrush again just to see how much of a difference it makes so if it makes a difference or not because if not you do not need to get an airbrush and can do it this way and experiment and improve on this method a bit further perhaps so we will see so this is the paint that I'm using it's yeah airbrush paint Link it in here and let's go. So here we go. I added another layer of paint off camera. This is how it looks now. It is not completely, completely solid white, so I could have added two or three more layers. But for the sake of seeing how this turned out, um, let's just unwrap it. This is it. <coughs> I'd say pretty much the same effect. The lines themselves are a bit um, perhaps not cleaner but softer so to speak when you want to compare it. So close-up is difficult. I can make one later. Um, it still looks kind of in the fog. It is kind of three-dimensional so if these lines here are a bit more in the front than the ones that are a bit more softened. I still really kind of like this look, so it's, it has something, so it's a keep. Um, I hope this tutorial kind of thing did help you, at least answering some questions and perhaps preventing you from spending too much time and money in trying um, things out. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, if you have other requests or questions, as usual leave me down below in the comment section. If you are new to my channel and this has been the first video, please make sure to subscribe and also have a look at all my other videos. They are pretty, pretty amazing stuff already here, if I can say that. And of course, if you have some space on your walls, make sure to have a look at my Etsy shop as well. I have linked them down in the video description um, besides all my other social media contact links. So thank you for your time, thank you for watching and other than that, I hope to see you in my next videos. Have a great day. Bye-bye.